rise for a moment of silence and pledge of flag. First up, we have a proclamation. Oh, roll call first, I'm sorry. <coughs> I'm sorry. O O'Donnell? Here. Paduk? Here. Ruskevich? Here. Sullivan? Here. Vero? Here. Gresham? Here. 19 ayes. <coughs> Absent. Okay, we've got two proclamations to present. I'd like to invite up the county exec for both of them. Um, we, first one we're going to do is proclamation recognizing Nicole I, assistant principal at Anna S. Cool Elementary School in the Port Jervis School District as 2017 New York State Elementary Assistant Principal of the Year. Her husband, Matt, and Legislator Tom Faggione from the 13th District. prestigious honor. Uh, job well done. County Exec, you want to say something? And uh, I'll just be Tom Bajon will say something. Read, 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 read the, uh, where it is. Exactly. Uh, I just uh, want to say uh, congratulations to Nicole. I'm a public school graduate, so is my wife, and our kids are going to public school, and there's not a lot of places in, that we can really uh, say that we have the Assistant Principal of the Year in New York State. There's a lot of school districts, could be a ton of choices. You obviously uh, rose to the top. I've seen you guys in action. Um, Tom's invited me a number of times, as well as the police chief. You do a wonderful job out there. And uh, we're very proud of you. So I have a certificate, too. Uh, but Tom, you want to read your uh, I'll say the words first? Well, first of all, it's very nice that I have some of my friends from Port Jervis here. Uh, I'm going to be selfish real quick. I always wear an orange tie, but tonight I'm wearing my red and black tie from Port Jervis along my red and black socks. So I'm very proud to be here with my friend Nicole. Nicole is not just a, uh, a good principal. She's just a great leader in our school district and someone we're very proud to have in our district. And it's my pleasure to read. I'm not going to read this whole thing because it's kind of long, but I just want to read. This is a proclamation of the legislature of the County of Orange recognizing Nicole I, assistant principal at Anna S. Cool Elementary School in the Port Jervis City School District as the 2017 New York State Elementary School Assistant Principal of the Year. Whereas school principals and assistant principals play a vital role in the education and growth of our children in elementary, middle, and secondary schools across the state. They are educational visionaries, instructional and assessment leaders, community builders, and set the academic tone for their schools and create an environment where students will thrive. And this continues to go on, but I'm gonna read the, the last part because this is the most important part. Now, like I said, Nicole is named the Assistant Principal of the Year for New York State. Therefore, it is hereby proclaimed that we, the legislature of the County of Orange, do hereby designate this day as a day of, rec of recognition for Nicole I in acknowledgement of her devotion to education and the welfare of her students and the school district. And we do further commend those these sentiments to all the people of the County of Orange so they may, they may be mindful of Nicole I and her good works and accord her all due appreciation, esteem, respect, and honor, given this day, the 6th of July, 2017. Congratulations. You 
obviously did it right, right? <laughs> Next up, we have a, a, another presentation. I'd like to invite up legislators Melissa Bonasek, Roseanne Sullivan, and Mike Paduke. Mike Paduke, uh, Louisa lives in Mike Paduke's district, and I believe the town hall is in Roseanne's district. So we have four legislators, including myself, that represent Milwaukee. So it's, and this is certainly a rare treat to have someone named Clerk of the Year in, in your state, even though we have another one in the back row, Barbara Decker. We're lucky to have two great ladies that serve their towns in such Excellent, superb fashion. Barbara, you come up too, please. And Flo Santini here, we can't leave Flo out. And Nancy Itzel too, on behalf of the town of Walker. Anybody else, family members you want to invite up? <laughs> but, uh, you know, everybody knows that the Ingrassia family name in the town of Walker was synonymous with public service. I mean, Louise's father, her brother Lou, does an uh, exceptional job in the, as a town uh, commissioner of public works. Just the whole family has done so much for the town of Walk Hill. It's, it's a great honor for us to have you here tonight. Um, you really serve our county proud. Um, Barbara Decker, too, I mean, she was sick, and you were sick a couple weeks ago. I mean, you guys die hard, you know? And, um, the, clerks, the clerks really, they're probably the most popular person in the towns because they, do, they all do an excellent job. But these two ladies really above and beyond. And, uh, you know, we had a little argument a couple of years ago about election costs, and the clerks went out. You know, <laughs> right? You can't fight with the clerks. But uh, congratulations to you. It's, it's certainly an honor. Um, I don't know, kind of exact next that Mike Padu probably wants to say quite a bit. I would uh, like to echo what the uh, chairman said. Um, first of all, the clerks, we have a lot of them here. Uh, you guys do not only the job as clerk and as a former town supervisor, you have some uh, village trustees, town trustees, town board members, former town supervisors. Katie Benelli was the supervisor. The clerks really uh, run the day-to-day -day operations on many occasions. And uh, in my town and in every other town, they run the Meals on Wheels. All these things that people don't look at, it's not in their job description um, that uh, the clerks do. So I met Flo. I've known her because her family name is legendary in Orange County. But I, I really met you five years ago. Uh, when I'm, Steve was I'm his Louisa. 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 Sorry. I'm, I'm yeah, 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 sorry. I was just with them earlier. Sorry. So I, I met you. Early, I met you about five years ago, and it was really at the end of the legislative and, and town uh, and county session uh, where that uh, election chargeback was put put forward. And I remember it was a town association of towns monthly meeting, and uh, as in the Gracia way, uh, you were very shy. And you got up at the Association of Town Supervisors and Mayor's meeting. I remember it was at Catlin Creek. And you said, when is this thing going to go away? And this was the election chargebacks. With if you're a town member or, or a city or, or a village, you know what we're talking about. We were paying for the election costs. And it was the drumbeat that you uh, put forward, along with your other clerks. And uh, I'm happy that the legislature uh, and, and I were able to uh, eradicate that when, when uh, I came in with, the, with some of the legislators. And you're making a real positive difference. Uh, so uh, with that, I want to congratulate you as well. I know you have three other legislators that you uh, work with as well. Um, but uh, we're really proud of you and uh, what you do here. And uh, uh, keep doing a good job and uh, keeping that town in check. Thank you. I say I've lived in Walk Hill for 64 years. And I think her family has been involved in everything for those 64 years. First, her dad and her mom both worked for the town, both great people. I, always, I was a little bit younger then, but they were always very helpful. Now her brother, like Steve had said, is the Commissioner of Public Works. He does a fantastic job. And Louisa was elected in 2003 to the town clerk's job. Now, that's a pretty important job, like Ben said. A lot of things go through the town clerk. If you're getting married, if you need a license for that. Uh, your vital statistics, she's got to be at every town board meeting, and sometimes they're not the, you know, the most fun. However, she does a great <laughs> job at, at everything she does. Um, and I just, there's a couple of stats I just wanted to read, too, that I, I brought up today. You know, at the last census, there are, there's 932 towns in New York State. Uh, and it's pretty special when you're not only elected the clerk of the year for your district, I think it's district two, right? That you're elected the town clerk of the year by New York State. 
Um, and I think, what I think, in all honesty, is the, the plaque that you were given back on April 25th at the banquet in Rochester said it best, because it read, this honor is bestowed upon Luisa Ingracia, town clerk of the town of Wauquill, selected by her peers for her distinguished service to New York State Town Clerks Association, her fellow clerks, and the people of her community. So I'm just very proud to be able to work with Louisa. She's always there when I come in. Uh, we joke a little bit sometimes. We talk about a lot of things. She's like a good friend to me, too, and I'm very honored to work with her. And I know her cat, Mr. French, is very proud of her as well. <laughs> want to say, um, wow, Clerk of the Year, you must be so proud. And I am not surprised because as far as I remember, far back as I remember, you were the clerk. <laughs> you were always the clerk. I really don't remember anything before Luisa Ingracia. <laughs> but you really, you really do do a great job. You do it as if you have eyes in the back of your head. And I, I've seen you um, do it not, not uh, skip a beat. Um, no matter who the supervisor was, and you really do a great job. A lot of people depend on um, getting information from you. Um, you are it, and I just want to say congratulations. You've done a wonderful job. Thank you. How big is this town? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Luis, I just wanted to say congratulations, and um, it's very similar to when Flo Santini um, receive this award too, that it's, you know, to you, it's not just a job. You love what you do, you love going to work. I know that to be true. It's your life, exactly. And Louisa just said to me before, as, as somebody alluded to, she had been sick for a little while and she was supposed to stay home for a week and rest. And she says what anybody who knows her uh, to be true is to, she just can't stay home and, and not do anything. She's gotta be there serving the people. And you are loved by so many. Um, not just your peers, but the people you serve, because you love what you do and you love them. So congratulations, and as uh, you know, it probably wasn't a surprise for a lot of us who know you that you received it, um, but it is well deserved. Before we do the presentation, I was remiss in not saying that um, by enrollment, Louisa is a Republican, but everybody knows that she's very bipartisan, and she'll be the first person to tell you that. She works with everyone. I was at their last two budget presentations, and I was extremely impressed. I remember Mike Paduk was there, and he had a whole crowd. Just a huge agenda, and they do that all as a team, a whole board. And they're, you know, there's Republicans and Democrats on the board, and they work as a team. And the whole town does, all the, and starting with Louisa at the top and, and the town supervisor. Uh, it's just really amazing. So, uh, ladies, do you want to say something, Barbara or Flo? Everybody's okay. said enough. So, all right, we'll read the proclamation. We'll do the first whereas and then the proclaimed. A proclamation of the legislature of the County of Orange and the County Execu Executive recognizing Louisa M. Ingracia, Town Clerk for the Town of Wauquill, as the 2017 New York State Town Clerk of the Year. Whereas Louisa M. Ingracia has been selected by the New York State Town Clerks Association as the 2017 New York State Town Clerk of the Year. It is the highest honor that the New York State Town Clerks Association bestows. She was chosen from 932 towns well, statewide. The Office of the Municipal Clerk is a time-honored and vital part of local government. It exists, exists excuse me, throughout the world and is the oldest position among public servants. Town clerks provide professional link between citizens, the local governing bodies, and the agencies of government at other levels. They pledge to be ever mindful of their neutrality and impartiality, as alluded to, rendering equal service to all and proclaim that the legislature of the County of Orange and the County Executive hereby designate this day as a day of recognition of Louisa M. Ingracia in acknowledgement of her dedication and service to her community and we do further commend these sentiments to all the people of the County of Orange so that they may be mindful of Louisa, Louisa M. Ingracia and her good works and accord her all due appreciation, esteem, respect and honor given the sixth day of July 2017 the four legislators in the county exec. I just hope when we start working on the uh, town of Wilco budget, there's a little boost in there for me because I think my framing bill is going to be through the through the roof this year. <laughs> Thank you all very much. Um, I had no words. It happened a while ago, and I had no words then, and I still don't. I just I love what I do. 
I do. And um, I love all the folks like you who love to serve their community. Thank you. Thank you. Lisa is a Mets fan too, so she's got Jeff Perkins endorsement. And John Vera sometimes, depends on how the score is going. Okay, what's up? Okay, Majority Leader Bond second. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I move to approve the minutes of May 4th, 2017. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Carried. <coughs> Are there any referrals, withdrawals, or consents? <coughs> Senator Benton. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I request that item number 39 on the agenda, a resolution of the County Legislature of the County of Orange, imploring the New York State Senate and Assembly to reconvene for the purposes of enacting Governor Cuomo's Senate Bill S-6566, an act to amend the tax law in relation to the authority of counties and cities to impose sales and compensating use taxes pursuant to the authority of Article 29 of such law and to repeal related provisions of such tax law or in the alternative to enact home rule requests for the extension of county sales tax rates that expire in 2017 and specifically senate bill s5979 and assembly bill a7960 for a special law pursuant to new york state tax law section 1210 extending the three quarters of one percent increase to the sales tax rate for orange county pursuant to the new york state constitution article 9 and municipal home rule uh, law section 40 to be withdrawn. Okay, if there are no objections, I think. Okay, sorry. There, there are no objections, that would be done. Okay, Majority Leader Bonasek again. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I move to vote collectively on agenda items number 27 and 28 and 30 through 34. Again, that's 27 and 28 and 30 through 34. Okay. And for public participation, we have. Oh, this is all after? Okay. okay. One through six, I'll say it now, our bond resolutions to th requiring two-thirds vote. Number one. Which says, Cool Sec, Benelli, Benton, and O'Donnell. Bond resolution dated July 6, 2017. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing various purposes at Orange County transfer stations, stating the estimated total cost thereof is 116000 Appropriating said amount, therefore, and authorizing the issuance of 116,000 bonds of the county to finance said appropriation. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anakistakis? <coughs> Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cheney? DeSalvo? Ekis? Baggione? Hines? Hemnitz? O'Donnell? Paduk? Ruskevich? Sullivan, Vero, Fresh, 19 eyes. Okay, number two. Legislators Turnbull, Benton, and Benelli. Bond resolution dated July 6, 2017. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the establishment of an expanded composting operation, stating the estimated maximum cost thereof is 627142 Appropriating said amount, therefore, including 510985 in grant funds expected to be received from the state of New York and authorizing the issuance of 116,157 bonds of the county to finance the balance of said appropriation. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Yes, Rosanna. Bonasek? Yes. Turbel? Yes. Amel? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? <coughs> Berkman? Benelli? Cheney, DeSalvo, Ekis, 
Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, O'Donnell, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vera, Russia, 19 eyes. Okay, number three. Legislators Benelli, Benton, and Nagnostakis. Bond resolution dated July 6, 2017. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the preparation of surveys, preliminary and detailed plans, specifications and estimates necessary for the retrofit of the carpenter shop and the construction of a new pole barn for the Department of Public Works, stating the estimated maximum cost thereof is 50,000, appropriating said amount therefore and authorizing the issuance of 50,000 bonds of the county to pay the cost thereof. Second. Discussion. Honestek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Cheney, DeSalvo, Ekis, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, O'Donnell, Padu, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vero, Russia. 19 eyes. And number four. Legislators Vero, Ruskevich, Benton, and Dillard. Amending bond resolution dated July 6, 2017. Amending the bond resolution adopted June 4, 2015, in relation to planning for various Orange County Dam projects. Second. Discussion. Roll call. Honestly? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. And Agnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cheney? DeSalvo? Ekis? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? O'Donnell? Paduk? Ruskevich? Sullivan? Vero? Russia. 19 eyes. 5-8. Legislators Paduk, Benton, and Kulisek. Amending bond resolution dated July 6, 2017. Amending the bond resolution adopted March 5, 2015 in relation to culvert replacement countywide for the Department of Public Works. Second. Discussion? Yes. Favorable. Yes. Honasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cheney, DeSalvo, Ekis, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, O'Donnell, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vero, Russia. 19 eyes. At 5 AA. Legislators Paduk, Ruskevich, Benton, and Kulsek. Amending bond resolution dated July 6, 2017. Amending the bond resolution adopted February 6, 2014, in relation to culvert replacement countywide for the Department of Public Works. Second. Discussion. Roll call. Honasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cheney? DeSalvo? Ekis? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? O'Donnell? Paduk? Ruskevich? Sullivan? Vera? Russia. 19 eyes. Number six. Legislators Benelli and Turnbull. Amending bond resolution dated July 6, 2017. Amending the bond resolution adopted March 3, 2016 in relation to additional financing for the reconstruction of and construction of additions to the independent county office buildings located in the town of Goshen. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Honasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cheney? DeSalvo? Ekis? Fagione? Hines, Chemnitz, O'Donnell, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vero, Russia. 19 eyes. And number seven. Legislators Turnbull, Paduk, Benton, and Benelli. Resolution allowing the Department of Public Works to accept insurance funds and apply the funds to debt service. Second. Discussion? Honasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cheney? DeSalvo, Ekis, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, O'Donnell, Padu, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vero, Russia. 19 eyes. The 8 through 10 are bond resolutions require, requiring two thirds vote. Number 8. Legislators Turnbull, Kulsek, Benton, and Hines. <coughs> Amending bond resolution dated July 6, 2017. Amending the bond resolution adopted August 2, 2012 and amended October 1st, 2015, in relation to the replacement of a bridge located on Taylor Road in the town of Cornwall for the Department of Public Works. Second. Discussion? Welcome. Honestly? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cheney? DeSalvo? Ekis? Baggio? Hines? Chemnitz? 
O'Donnell, Padu, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vero, Russia, 19 eyes. Legislators Padu, Pulisak, Patton, and Hines. Amending the bond resolution dated July 6, 2017. Amending the bond resolution adopted May 5, 2011 in relation to the replacement of a bridge located on Willow Avenue in the town of Cornwall for the Department of Public Works. Second. Present. Welcome. Pulisak, Turnbull, Amo, Anagnostakis, Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Cheney, DeSalvo, Ekis, Fagione, Hines, Kemnant, O'Donnell, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vero, Russia. 19 eyes. Number 10. Legislators Kulisek, Benelli, and Benton. Amending bond resolution dated July 6, 2017. Further amending the bond resolution adopted July 7, 2005 and amended July, December 1st, 2011, and further amend, amended on March 1st, 2012, in relation to financing the cost of the reconstruction of the Grove Drive Bridge in the town of Tuxedo at the estimated total cost of 4,332,825. Second. Motion. Yes. Added, Very added. Roll call. Yes. Turnbull. Yes. Amo. Yes. Anagnostakis. Benton. Berkman. Benelli. Cheney. DeSalvo, Ekis, Fagione, Hines, Kemnitz, O'Donnell, Padu, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vero, Russia. 19 eyes. Number 11. Legislative School Sec, Benelli, Benton, and O'Donnell. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Public Works to implement and fund in the first instance 100% of the federal aid and state Marcuselli program aid eligible costs of a transportation federal aid project and appropriate funds, therefore, and enter into supplemental agreement number two with the New York State Department of Transportation to increase the funding for the replacement of Grove Drive Bridge, capital project number 486, pursuant to section 99-H of the general municipal law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion. Added. Any added again? Roll call. Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Cheney, DeSalvo, Ekis, Fagione, Hines, Kemnitz, O'Donnell, Padu, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vera, Russia. 19 eyes. Okay, 12 through 14 are also bond resolutions that require two thirds vote. Legislators in Agnostakis, Benelli, Kemnitz, Benton, DeSalvo. Bond resolution dated July 6, 2017. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York authorizing additional financing for the expansion of the Orange County Veterans Memorial Cemetery, stating the estimated maximum cost thereof is 1,200,000, appropriating 150,000 therefore, in addition to the 600,000 of previously appropriated and 450,000 expected future appropriations, and authorizing the issuance of 150,000 bonds of the county to finance said appropriation. Second. Discussion. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, so we got some questions and caucus. First of all, add all Dems to this resolution, please. Okay. And um, there was a question about the entranceway that was discussed. Is that part of this, or is that something that's being considered in the future in the expansion? And with this expansion, I've heard that there's going to be a committee formed to explore that. I sure would like to see a Democrat on that committee. I'd love to volunteer for that committee. So uh, if I see Mr. Farrell's here. If we some clarification is the entranceway um, part of this resolution? No, it's not part of the resolution. Uh, it is potentially part of the expansion, okay. but it's not part of the resolution. Okay, okay, thank you. Yeah, we'll discuss the committee for but you're one of the few veterans up here, in the, so I wouldn't have a problem with that. Yes, Jeff. And yeah, I just wanted to uh, bring up the subject about the master plan, which committee, which is you mentioned in committee. Uh, which is fine idea. It's just that uh, I don't recall hearing that any member of the legislature of either party was on that, and I think that that should be revisited so that we have balanced representation from the legislature. We'll certainly discuss that at Legislator Amos Committee. That was Legislator Bonasek. All Republicans. Okay. Mike, did you have your hand up? Okay. All right. Roll call, I guess. Bonasek, yes. Turnbull, yes. Amo, yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Cheney, DeSalvo, Ekis, 
Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, O'Donnell, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vera, Russia. 19 eyes. Okay, number 14. 13, excuse me. Legislators Cheney, Berkman, and Benton. On resolution dated July 6, 2017, on resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the construction of various improvements at the Orange County Community College, stating the estimated total cost thereof is $1,260,000, appropriating said amount therefore, including $630,000 to be received from the State of New York, and authorizing the issuance of 630,000 bonds of the county to pay the balance of the cost thereof. Second. Discussion. Uh, Legislator Fagione and DeSalvo both added. Okay. And uh, Ruskevich, I'm sorry. Okay, roll call. Bonsai? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Nagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cheney? DeSalvo? Ekis? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? O'Donnell? Padu? Ruskevich? Sullivan, Vera, Russia. 19 eyes. Number 14. Legislators Benton, Cool, Second Dillard. Bond resolution dated July 6, 2017. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing Kaplan facade reconstruction at the Orange County Community College, stating the estimated total cost thereof is 60000 appropriating said amount therefore, including 30000 to be received from the State of New York, and authorizing the issuance of 30000 bonds of the county to pay the balance of the cost thereof. Second. Yes, Legislator Berkman. Thank you. Uh, I was the sponsor of the preceding resolution, so, so I'm all for investing in Orange County Community College in both campuses. And I understand we have a satellite now in Port Jervis for a few classrooms as well. So it's not my commitment to uh, spending f f on behalf of the college. I'm an advocate of it. The reason why I'm voting no on this resolution is I want to bring uh, attention to it. Uh, it's only $30,000 of county money, but it's for the facade, which evidently is in disrepair uh, in the Newburgh campus. And uh, we discussed this in committee, and of course, we have an obligation to, to fix it, but we also have an obligation to bring in the engineers, uh, JMZ, the architect, or whoever, is, whoever was running the job just a few years ago, and also uh, to make sure we have a certain, in, in it, pardon me, an engineer to certify the safety of the remaining part of the facade, which uh, which was not verified. So I'm sure we can get through this, but uh, please, uh, uh, when you vote on this, just um, remember that a part of our responsibility is not just to rubber stamp expenditures without making sure we have adequate follow-up. Okay. Add risk Genie, you want to be added to? I'd like to speak. Oh, you'd like to speak, okay. Is that the only speaker, or do you have one? Well, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. What we're voting on today is the reconstruction of a portion of the facade of Kaplan Hall. The facade is separating itself from the main structure and has received a temporary repair. Passing this resolution today will provide a proper repair. To delay this work leaves open a greater potential for the facade to separate and fall to the ground. That is a risk we need to eliminate as soon as possible. The issue of liability on the part of the design and construction professionals has been raised as an objection to supporting the res this resolution. That is an independent action that is the responsibility of the county attorney to pursue if the evidence warrants, and I would hope that we would pursue um, that as was suggested by Legislator Burke. Okay, you ready for roll call? Let's do it. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Nagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? No. Benelli? Cheney? DeSalvo? Ekis? Fagione? Hines? Eminence? O'Donnell? Padu? Ruskevich? Sullivan? Vera? <coughs> Russia. 18 ayes, 1 no. Okay, number 15. Legislators Ruskevich and Kulsev. Resolution authorizing the County of Orange to participate in the New York State Department of State 2017-2018 Local Government Efficiency Grant Application for the Orange County Water Efficient Fleet Wash Project and supporting the joint application by Orange County, the Town of Goshen, and the Village of Goshen for the purposes of seeking funding for the installation of a shared water efficient fleet wash at the Orange County Department of Public Works Complex. Second. Question? Yes, Marna? Yeah, Add it. O'Donnell? Add it. Certainly. 
Bonasa? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cheney? DeSalvo? Ekis? Baggione? Hines? Kemnitz? O'Donnell? Padu? Ruskevich? Sullivan? Bureau? Brescia? 19 eyes. And number 17. You know, you screw me up, Gene. Because oh <laughs> I'm reading off of your script here. I'm cheating off of you, and it says 17. That's why I read 17. That's why I was confused over here because I flipped over 16. Okay, 16. There we go. Get it on. Jeff has his pocket so that's Mills Lane, right? Let's get it on. Legislators, Legislators Turnbull and Pulisic. Resolution of the Orange County Legislature in support of an application to the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation Climate <coughs> Smart Communities Grant Program by the Orange County Department of Public Works to rehabilitate the Cromline Creek Pump Station. Second. Discussion. Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cheney? DeSalvo? Ekis? Fagione? Hines, Kemnitz, O'Donnell, Padu, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vera, Brescia. 19 eyes. Number 17. Legislators Padu and Kulisek. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Parks, Recreation, and Conservation to implement and fund in the first instance 100% of the federal aid and state Marcaselli program aid eligible costs of a transportation federal aid project and enter into supplemental agreement number one with the New York State Department of Transportation to increase the funding for the Heritage Trail Extension pursuant to section 99-H of the General Municipal Law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion. Roger, you want to add it? You want to speak? No. Can I add it too? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, yeah, proudly I'd like to be a sponsor. Um, people in Middletown have been waiting for more than 20 years and I'm uh, very supportive of the county executives initiative to fund this and that we can follow up on state grants after it's open but let's get to work and I hope we can all have a legislative hike I know Lee Benton and I will do it all Dems on sec Turnbull yes. Amo yes. Anagnostakis Benton Berkman Benelli Cheney DeSalvo Ekis Fagione, Hines, Kemnitz, O'Donnell, Padu, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vera, Brescia. 19 eyes. Number 18. Legislators Benelli and Ruskevich. Resolution setting a date for a public hearing with respect to the proposal of an increase and improvement to Orange County Sewer District Number 1. The public hearing would be July 24th, 2017 at 4.30 p.m. Second. Discussion. Roll call. Anasek? Yes. Turnbull? Emo, Anagnostakis, Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Cheney, DeSalvo, Ekis, Fagione, Hines, Kemnitz, O'Donnell, Padu, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vera, Brescia, 19 eyes. And number 19. Legislators Cool, Second Turnbull. Resolution setting a date for a public hearing with respect to the proposal of an increase in improvement to Orange County Sewer District Number 1. The public hearing would be also on July 24th, 2017 at 4.30 p.m. Second. Discussion. Roll call. Anasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cheney? DeSalvo? Ekis? Fagione? Hines? Kemnitz? O'Donnell? Padu? Ruskevich? Sullivan? Vera? Brescia? 19 eyes. Legislators Benton and Hines. Resolution making a supplemental appropriation to the 2016 Orange County budget for various departments pursuant to section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Question. Roll call. Anasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cheney? DeSalvo? Ekis? Fagione? Hines? Kemnitz? O'Donnell? Padu? Ruskevich? Sullivan? Biro? Brescia? 19 eyes. And number 21. Legislators Benton and DeSalvo. Resolution authorizing the private sale and conveyance of certain county owned lands acquired by a reason of a failure to redeem said lands from a tax sale to Orange County. 
pursuant to section 10184 of the Real Property Tax Law and Orange County Amended Local Law Number 2 of 2010. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Bonsack? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amon? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cheney? DeSalvo? Ekis? Fagione? Hines? Hemnens? O'Donnell, Padu, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vero, Russia, 19 eyes. Okay, 22. <coughs> Legislator Benton, resolution pursuant to real property tax law section 558 directing the cancellation of certain taxes which have been rendered unenforceable. Second. Second. Roll call. Anasek, Turnbull, yes. Amo, yes. Nagostakis, Benton, Berkman, <coughs> Benelli, Cheney, DeSalvo, Ekis, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, O'Donnell, Padu, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vero, Russia. 19 eyes. Okay, 23. Legislator Benton, resolution approving the applications for the correction of certain errors appearing on the 2017 tax rolls for certain towns and districts and ordering the correction of said errors pursuant to section 556 of the real property tax law. Second. Roll call. Bonasek? Turnbull, yes. Amo, Am sorry, yes. Nagnostakis, Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Cheney, DeSalvo, Ekis, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, O'Donnell, Padu, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vero, Brescia, 19 eyes. 24. Legislators Fagione and DeSalvo. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Planning to accept and appropriate funds from the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation pursuant to section 99-R of the General Municipal Law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Yes. Duke and Berkman added. Roll call. Anasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cheney? DeSalvo? Ekis? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? O'Donnell? Padu? Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vero, Russia, 19 eyes. 25. Legislators DeSalvo and Hines, resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Planning to accept and appropriate funds from the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation pursuant to section 99-R of the General Municipal Law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, <coughs> Berkman, Benelli, Cheney, DeSalvo, Ekis, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, O'Donnell, Padu, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vero, Russia. 19 eyes. 26. Legislators Fagione and Amo. Resolution adopting a complete streets policy and ADA transition plan for Orange County. Second. Discussion? Yep. DeSalvo added. Hold Hold down. Added to it. Okay, roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cheney? DeSalvo? Ekis? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? O'Donnell? Padu? Ruskevich? Sullivan? Vero? Russia? 19 eyes. 27. Oh, I'm sorry. 27, 28 collective group. Switch it. Okay. Roll call. Anasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cheney? DeSalvo? Ekis? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? O'Donnell? Padu? Ruskevich? Sullivan? Vero? Russia? 19 eyes. Okay, number 29. Legislators Berkman and Ekis, resolution providing for a public hearing upon the tentative budget for Orange County Community College for the fiscal year beginning September 1st, 2017, pursuant to section 6304 of the education law. The public hearing would be August 3rd, 2017 at 315. Second. Discussion. Roll call. Anasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cheney? DeSalvo? Ekis, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, O'Donnell, Padu, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vera, Russia. 19 eyes. All right, 32, 34 collectively. 
Just roll. Okay. Second, roll call. Uh, Alden, Prasikas added to Alden. All Dems added to Alden. Bajion. All right, roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Emil? Yes. Nagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cheney? DeSalvo? Ikis? Fagion, Hines, Kemnins, O'Donnell, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vera, Russia, 19 eyes. Number 35. Legislators Fagion, Benton, and Benelli. Resolution extending the period of time for the appointment of Christopher Vibrock to serve as acting commissioner of the Orange County Department of Parks, Recreation, and Conservation by the county executive, pursuant to section 3.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Aye. Yes. Good service, I had no um, problem uh, uh, voting yes for this <coughs> committee just to get it on the floor, but I, and I'm sure what I'm about to say isn't going to surprise anybody up here because you've heard it from me before. Um, yeah, I, I consider Chris Feinbeck to be one of our stars, um, but I do, do not agree with. Um, the restructuring of uh, the commissioner's uh, 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 positions, as uh, Mr. Newhouse has been doing lately. Um, you know, that includes the IT and general services, that, and he also combines the position for mental health and, and DSS. I feel that we're taking um, our star commissioners and really just, you know, pulling them at the seams. I, I don't know of anyone who could do um, an excellent job doing both positions. I think it's too big of a job for anyone, and um, I don't think that it's really saving us money because what, what I've seen happen is that we're just adding more assistant commissioners or whatever you want to call them. We're adding more administrative jobs. And it's just taking the commissioner one step away from on the job, uh, knowing what's going on really in this department. So I'm going to vote no today for that reason. Party Leader Amel. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I certainly understand uh, legislators' uh, position regarding the combining of commissions, but I want to remind everyone that when this process began, the county executive established a, a group to work on how do you integrate or, or bring together different departments in, in, the, in the county to provide better services, more efficient services, and higher quality services. And in that case, uh, the, uh, uh, Mr. Burpo with, with General Services and IT was the first group to start that process in a rather extensive discussion and a report that came out. And certainly, uh, Commissioner Miller uh, was, was really active and, and developed a rather large report that came to my committee, Human Services, that said this is why this is a good thing to do. Uh, I have not seen, and I may not, and may be out there, but I have not seen the same rigorous work put together for Mr. Ivar for um, you know, public works and, and, and uh, parks, presuming that it may be a permanent issue. If it's going to be temporary, I don't have a problem with it. But if we're going to go permanent, I think we really need to look at this and talk about how it's going to provide better services uh, doing this work. And yeah, Legislator uh, Benton expressed the same concern about personnel. Legislator DeSalvo? Oh, you want to be added to sponsor? Okay. Uh, yes, uh, minority leader. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, <clears throat> this may very well be the county's version of six of one, half dozen of the other. You know, it seems like you have to sacrifice efficiency or economy when you make this kind of move. Um, you know. I have mixed feelings about them, but uh, my understanding is this one is, is not a move to do that at this point. We're just extending Mr. Vibrock's um, period that he'll be covering both. Uh, I did notice Mr. Vibrock's uh, handicap went down as a result of uh, doing the conference. So there's always something good that comes out of these uh, strategies. That's the Burton. I'm not sure it's a good idea to have the DBW commissioner to leave parks as well. I think the jury's out 
Uh, I think it gives another six months for the county executive to interview, find choices for that position. And I think that there's a lot of activity with our parks, particularly with the Heritage Trail coming to Middletown. So I want to make sure that uh, that parks department is is solid. So uh, Mr. Vibrock, I add my voice, and I think he's doing an outstanding job. So it's not a bad reflection on him. It just it gives a, a breathing spell, uh, period for the county executive to come up with a good nominee and for us to ratify. I said in caucus, Chris Weibrock is not new to the county. He's been in the leadership position of the DW. He's been forced to be a special team in Bridges. Are you energized? I get her another speech. As I was saying, Chris Weibrock is not new to the position, uh, to a position of leadership. He had been with Chuck Lee for 14 years, I believe, in the DPW, Specialty Bridges, and he is a resident of Monroe, and he is a very um, intelligent young leader. Uh, I do believe that uh, Parks somehow, somehow does fit into the overall purview of what he can do, and I'm sure that he's um, man enough to say if he thinks it's too much, it's too much. Although he's quiet and soft-spoken, he has never, never missed giving us information on the passport and comprehensive. So I think that he can handle it. Own judgment of his capabilities. I think he's a fine leader. Thank you. Yeah, there is some concern about this issue. And, uh, I know the, the county exec has over 40 applications for a parks commission, but there is, you know, we, we have a golf committee that's come up with some great ideas too, and there is, there are, uh, you know, we have to have lengthy discussion on this. It's going to be discussion on how we're going to pursue uh, this in the future. We could always separate golf or have a, a golf under parks as a separate entity, or there's, you know, we got, can always think outside the box. So there's many things we can do, but, uh, you know, I think something's going to have to be done because I, I think. The vibe I'm getting is that we don't want to have the Parks Commissioner doing both jobs, ultimately. But that's just the vibe I'm initially getting. So we can have a discussion <coughs> of personnel and physical in the not too distant future. Roll call. Honestly? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Annette Mustakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? <coughs> Cheney? DeSalvo? Ekis? Baggione? Hines? Chemnitz, O'Donnell, Padoop, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Biro, Gresham. 19 eyes. And number 36? I'm sorry, I'm voting no. Oh, okay. Sullivan's a no. 18 eyes, one no. There's Padoop, Sullivan, and Amo. An act amending the appropriate Orange County employment schedules to amend Act Number 61 of 1968 at the Orange County Department of Health to add the registered professional nurse position is, is changed from a county funded position to a grant funded position pursuant to Section 2.02i of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion. Just added. You're not on it? Uh, um, you want to be? Yeah, well, she, she can take down. Taking off, okay. Roll call. <laughs> Anasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? No. Benelli? Cheney? DeSalvo? Ekis? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? O'Donnell? Padoop? Ruskevich? <laughs> Sullivan? Bureau, Gresham, 18 eyes, one no. Okay, Legislator Sullivan, Benton, Kevin, and Ekis. An act amending the appropriate Orange County employment schedules to reclassify a principal account clerk to associate account, account clerk two at the Orange County Department of Health, pursuant to section 2.02i of the Orange County Charter. Second. Question. Roll call. On Yes. Turnbull, Amo, yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Cheney, DeSalvo, 
Ekis, Fagion, Hines, Chemnitz, O'Donnell, Padoue, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vero, Brescia. 19 eyes. And number 38. Legislators Fagione, Turnbull, Vero, and DeSalvo. An act amending the appropriate Orange County employment schedules to create prime analysts at the Orange County Department of Emergency Services, pursuant to section 2.02i of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion, Matt. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I was kind of lukewarm on this in, in committee. I think you think I voted yes for it after many questions. Totally not satisfied with some of the answers that had to do with oversight. So, um, you know, I start looking into it, and the more I look into it, the less I like it. The potential for abuse is uh, substantial. It's an evolving technology. I don't think uh, we've established what the rules are going to be on social media. Um, you know, it's, it's a tough one because I'm sure that a lot of good could come out of it, but um, until I see the, the right oversight, I really can't support uh, this resolution. Please remove my name. Thank you. Yes, Senator Hines. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I think this is uh, cutting edge. I think it's fantastic. This is our contribution to what will soon be the uh, regional crime lab that's going to come here to Orange County to help fight the war on drugs. This is our contribution to that. We're going to get significant contributions uh, through personnel from the Department of Justice, and they are going to uh, not only uh, study crime in general, but with specifics target towards the uh, selling of drugs throughout uh, not only this county, but others, because uh, in other regions, they found that uh, the, the drug traffic doesn't stay within one county. It moves from county to county. So in our uh, case, the drugs may be sold in Orange and people may die in Dutchess or vice versa. And this uh, group of uh, trained professionals are going to study that and try to attack the problem on a regional level. And uh, the experts have uh, told us, and the reason I know a lot of this is because I sit on the police advisory board, the experts have told us that uh, this has worked in other areas, and this is just another tool we have to fight uh, the epidemic of opiates and other drugs, as well as other crimes. It's not just targeting uh, on that. And uh, I know the sheriff has spoken in favor of it. The district attorney has spoken in favor of it. Commissioner Casey has spoken in favor of it. I consider those our local experts, so I'm wholeheartedly in favor of this, and I, I hope it works, as everybody tells us it will. What's their solving? Can't you say my name, please? Yes. Okay, roll call. Yes. Turnbull? No. Amo? Yes. Benagnostakis? Benton? No. Berkman? Benelli? Cheney? DeSalvo? Ikes? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? O'Donnell? Padoue? Ruskevich? Sullivan? Bureau? Brescia? 18 eyes, one no, and the desk is clear, Mr. Chairman. Okay, we've got four speakers signed up. Scott Martens is first from Minnesink on the public health and safety of citizens of Orange County. problem here in Orange County. Probably the biggest problem that Orange County has faced in a long time. The 650 megawatt frack gas power plant is being constructed right now in the town of Wayweander, right on the middle town line, right next to the town of Walco, in the town of Wayweander. This is now my third time speaking to you over a four month period. And each time I came here asking, pleading, doing everything except for getting on my knees, asking you guys to just get the information and then give it to your constituents. That's it. I wasn't asking for legislation. I think I was pretty nice about it all. 
I didn't get a single phone call from anybody. The Detect Orange County website didn't receive a single reach from any of you, not one, over four months now. Are we, are we all that busy in our lives that you, who are the elected officials, to protect us can't just take a couple minutes, Mr. Cheney, a couple minutes to view the website, which I asked you to look at, and you told me out there, no, I didn't actually. Wow, <laughs> thanks. I'm not getting paid now. I'm doing this for the betterment of the people. This, I, I'm doing your job right now. That's not fair. I'm a father and a husband. I should be home in my garden with my kids. And I'm not. I'm here because of this fracked gas power plant. Fracked gas. Again, Governor Cuomo put a moratorium on fracked gas. It's bad for our health, he says. It's bad for the environment. But yet we're building this power plant. Why? I don't know. You tell me. You guys are the leaders. It went through your board. It went. It, it did. It, it's, 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 and, and and you guys. Okay. Okay. Well, let's say it did. But everything that happens in Orange County on this level should go through you. And if it doesn't, then you can stand up and say, "We need to talk about this issue. This is huge." Okay. So please reach out to me, reach out to Protect Orange County, get the information, please share it with your constituents so they know what's gonna happen. I spent last weekend at the Great American Weekend in Goshen. Awesome festival. I spent all day Saturday and most of Sunday there. I talked to hundreds and hundreds of people. Nobody knows. Why? That's a huge failure. If nobody knows from Orange County, from Middletown, from Goshen, from Warwick, from the town of Rock Hill, nobody knows about this power plant, time and time again, people say to me, oh, that's what that is? I drive by that every day. You know why they don't know? Because there's not even a sign outside saying what yeah, it is. Conclude. Not even a sign. And that was, that was intentional from the very, very, very beginning from CPV. Thank they you, actually- Next they, speaker, Mike Goldstein. Thanks, Scott. Next speaker, Mike Goldstein. You went well over your time. Thank you. Earth going okay. I'm being stopped, but I urge all of you, please reach out to me. Please, reach out to me. Get the information. You guys can do this. I want each of you to tell, give me an answer. Will you support a resolution yeah, come on. denying the last water Wait. permit that this place needs to get going? Because they still need to build a seven-mile pipeline through Minnesota Valley. Okay, Scott, I'm not going to ask you again. I'm going to have the officers escort you out. Thank Please, you. Guys. Please, for your people. Four minutes to talk about this huge thing. Uh, good evening, Mike Goldstein. I'm a resident of the town of Monroe. I've only lived there about 52 years, so I'm not native to Monroe, but my children are. I was born in Orange County, educated in the Monroe Woodbury school system, and both of them chose to raise their families in the town of Monroe. My grandchildren, six, seven, or eight, and eight, our second generation native Monrovians. We are the face of the future housing shortage. I am concerned with the town of North Monroe's creation that there will not be enough a land for my children, my grandkids to live here if they want, and if there'll be enough natural resources, water, sewer, to support them. I ask you when you consider this, please remember it is more than a housing shortage for the residents of Curious Joel. There are others like me in the town of Monroe who would like to continue in, this, in, their, in our town. Thank you. Thank you. Next speaker, Ward Brown, town of Monroe, uh, subject to the and he still had a hospital, so I'm real native. Been here for 74 years. Uh, my problem is uh, the North Monroe concept, initially as presented by Mr. Zaganin, sounded like it was uh, 
effort, a retrieve from my point of view and my family, where we would somehow get out from underneath the theocracy we have actually autonomy. But then we have representatives who claim to be representatives I never elected, and secret meetings negotiating things which I am not privy of and a little scary of. I understand the constitutional arguments against this type of organization. I've heard them. That's my point. There was a trade-off in, in the initial concept from Mr. Zegedin. Yes, we lost taxes, town of Manoa lost taxes, but, and it was a questionable and constitutional balance. But it did give us at least some autonomy, which we have not had in this latest revision I'm hearing through the press, or not, sounds like this new North Monroe sets, us, sets the clock back 30 years where the tail is still wagging the dog. Granted, the entire block vote from that religious community will not be in this concept, but that still doesn't help us. And again, I don't like representatives representing me who have not been elected or chosen by me. Thank you. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. We're adjourned.